John, the assumption of the origin of the universe, the Big Bang, whether it's inflation generated uh, and this expansion, it's commonly known that it's that what expands is not expanding into space, that people say that space is expanding. It's, and it can expand even faster than the speed of light. There's no, no prohibition against, against that. Uh, some people may be surprised by that. But you take exception to the term I just used, that the space is expanding. Why? Well, well I, I do because it's potentially misleading. At, at one level, it's a correct statement. So the universe is expanding at some level, it's getting bigger. And you know, we don't have a prop here, but you know, you, you know the demonstration, you take a balloon, you blow it yeah, up, right, right. and you put dots on the surface yeah. of the balloon, and those dots are the galaxies, you blow the balloon up, the dots get further, further apart. apart. So the universe gets bigger with time, there's more space. So it's natural for people to say, oh well, so actually the galaxies aren't really moving apart, it's just, you know, they're sitting there, it's just the space between oh. them is <laughs> getting bigger. Right, right. And the, the difficulty I have with that is it gives people really the wrong physical picture. So the, the, here's an example. There's a galaxy moving away from you because the space between us is expanding. Suppose you grab that galaxy, okay, just kill its velocity, and now you let it go. Expanding space, right? Obviously, it'll start going, it'll again. Start going again. Right. And so the picture is that there's like some kind of friction. You find a beautiful, beautifully made but completely wrong video on the web <laughs> of a rug that's kind of stretching, yeah. right? And of course, the stretching rug causes friction. So there's a picture of a man with a cat, and he lets the cat go, and the rug just <laughs> takes the cat off the leash, and they separate. But that wouldn't actually happen yeah. because locally, space, you know, it, it, everything that we do in cosmology is built on the tenets of, of general relativity. And general relativity is built on the equivalence principle that you see every day in astronauts, a freely falling observer experiences around them special relativity. The space-time and special relativity doesn't expand, it's a nonsense. So there can be no locally observable effect due to the expansion of space. Okay, people often ask, you know, why why doesn't the expanding universe try and tear the Earth away from the Sun? The answer is there's no force, no kind of frictional force of expanding space that would ever cause it to do that. So if you wanted to understand how this goes wrong in the analogy with the balloon, think about, well, actually, you don't need to think about, the, think about a big balloon that becomes a flat surface like this, this rug. Mm. So you're standing on this rug and it becomes stretched and your feet start to go apart. But suppose the rug now was a perfectly frictionless surface. All right, so you're not standing on a rug, you're standing on a sheet of ice. Mm. The ice goes sideways or comes in. Could you tell the difference? Uh, Is there any ob observation you could make that would, uh, that would give you an effect that was due to expanding space? The answer is no. So locally, the detection of space, the, the expansion of space is undetectable, which means physically it's meaningless in some sense. Right? So you're, you're taking a global concept, the idea that the universe gets bigger, and translating it to a completely incorrect local statement about what space can do to act on, on the bodies that inhabit it. So let's just look at the example. I hope that's clear. Uh, let's look at the example of, uh, of two galaxies. They certainly started when they were much, I mean, they were toge together, they were, quite yeah. fluctuations. And then as time goes on, what it, what, and, and we can calculate from any one point what the Hubble constant is and how mm -hmm. fast it's, it's uh, expanding away from us. Uh, uh, whatever, 70-something... Kilometers per, a second per megaparsec. Per yep. megaparsec. Uh, so that the further away you go... The faster they're moving. The faster yeah. they're moving. And when you go up sufficiently far, they're moving faster than the speed of light. Yes. And the, re and the reason they're doing that is because space is expanding. Well, space... I put it the other way around. I mean, space-time, the structure of space-time, is dictated by its matter content. Yes, yes, yes. So the fact that the galaxies are expanding is what changes the curvature of space-time right. overall. Okay. Okay. But locally, it's just particles of mass moving apart, you know, just, just like you driving your car. You, know, you don't think your car's getting further away from, from town because space between you and right. the town is, is expanding. So take, take two galaxies, our galaxy and another galaxy, 
uh, take our galaxy and, and two other galaxies. One of the other galaxies is part of our local group, mm -hmm. which means there's some gravitational attraction significant between us. And another galaxy outside our local group that does not have the gravitational uh, attraction to us. And then go a trillion years in the future, yeah. whatever you need. W explain the differences mm -hmm. uh, between our, our galaxy's relationship to those other two. Sure. Um, and the short answer is that the nearby galaxy is gravitationally bound to us. Um, the, the more distant one is, is not bound. But you still have the... But, but it could... Well, can we do this one at a time? All right, so here's the Milky Way. Yeah. Here's a galaxy, and it could be local to us or a more distant one. Let's do them one at a time. Okay. So, as nature has it at the moment, let's say it's far enough away, it's, it's receding from us, as almost all galaxies are. Right. Let's, as we said, put a chain on, instantaneously stop that. So now it's, it's stationary, all its friends are, are moving out, yeah, yeah. going to expanding space. What's going to happen to it? Right. Well, that, what happens depends on what's in the universe. So let's go back some time to the point where it was dominated by the energy density of normal matter. So the vacuum density was negligible. Well, the answer is that as these guys go out, this one will perceive a large amount of mass in the same way as we're pulled towards the center of the Earth yeah, by yeah, yeah, yeah. the mass of the Earth. That galaxy will actually start to move in. Oh. Okay? <laughs> so expanding space doesn't make it move out in the slightest. It goes the other way. Mm. Now, later on, as things get more complicated because the cosmological constant becomes larger, relatively speaking, and the gravitational effect of, of that vacuum energy is of the opposite sign. So that tends to push everything out. So at a certain time, that galaxy will just sit there right. because the, the, the attraction of the matter out. will balance out. balance out the anti-gravity of the vacuum right. inside the sphere. Right, right. And at late times, like today, the vacuum will win, so it'll start to go out. So but it's being accelerated out by the energy density of the vacuum. Right. It's not being dragged by the, by the velocity of expansion. Right, right. And you can see right. that by imagining taking a film of this whole thing and running it backwards. So now we've got all the galaxies coming in to get us. Yeah? This one on the periphery will still accelerate away. Okay? So... Wait a minute, you had them going back together. How do you get all, no, run, run the film of the expanding right. universe backwards. All the right. galaxies are coming in. Correct, correct, correct. If I take one that's coming in and stop it... Oh, stopping it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it will start to go out uh, right, because by the right, right, vacuum right, repulsion. Right, yeah, right, okay, right, so there's right. nothing... There's no measurement that we make that's sensitive to the sign of the velocity. It right? doesn't matter whether the universe is expanding or contracting. We can't see that. Mm. It's the acceleration that's, that's relevant, not the velocity.